Okay. Just to warn y'all, I've never done a makeup tutorial and um, the way I do my makeup is not the typical way I feel like a lot of y'all's favorite YouTube makeup artists be doing their stuff. So just bear with me, okay? And I'm gonna teach y'all some, some tricks y'all didn't even think of. I never really know what I'm about to come do to my face, but we just kinda go as we go. Brown first. Y'all have a little brown. And I'll put it back in the crease and a little bit above the crease. And this, this makeup right here, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, you see where we're going with that? And you just kind of blend, 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 blend. Blend, baby. Usually have my anime playing in the background, but y'all are making me so nervous. I feel like I have to pay attention. Okay, so as you can see, I've been applying brown eyeshadow on my eyes for a long time. That's because you want to get it as brown as possible. Because it's all going to work out in the end, I promise. If you want to do your makeup like me, Use one brush and keep wiping it off. Of course, clean it afterwards for the next application because you don't want people to think you're dirty or you don't want to give yourself an eye infection. That, that, that might have done it. That might be enough brown on that eye. And then you want to come, right? You did the top, so guess what you're going to do to that bottom? That same thing. Already, I can go outside like this. <laughs> now, you know what? We're gonna do a little blue because we got blue in the hair. <laughs> this one is called Player Like Me. <laughs> We're gonna have fun with this. <laughs> all right, all right. So, we're gonna put a little blue in the crease. All right. You learn as you go. Sometimes you gotta mess up. But as long as you can blend, makeup is your friend. I be blending it a little bit, like up into the brown. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but some kind of way my eyes always come out kind of like a cat eye. And maybe it's the way that I blend out the makeup. I don't know, but we, we get there. All right, um, all right. I feel like we cute, <laughs> we cute. All right, wipe that off. You coming out cute, boo. We gotta give yourself a pep talk halfway through the makeup. You are looking cute. Look at you, cuter than you thought you were. Who's your makeup artist? Me. Moi. Okay, so my blending skills are so good, but I do have to come back and darken it up. Boom. You see how that's coming together? <clears throat> see how that's coming together? I always put like a little white or something in my brow. Your brow bone. Give it a little highlight, you know what I'm saying? Just use whatever makes you feel happy, okay? Do what you have to do to get the best result. Okay, so boom, right? We're not done with player. We're not done with her yet. We're gonna go in with the brush, and I know this one is called a blending brush. Cause that's what you gotta do. Blend, baby. What you want to do next is go back in with a dark color. So I went in with the brown. But you know brown is my favorite. To make your eye look deep. You want to do what you did on top, on the bottom. The more brown I put on my eyes, the bigger they seem like they get. 
you want these boys to know I see everything. You want your man to know your eyes are big. So he knows you see everything. These are, you ain't getting nothing past me eyes. All right, and you almost done with boo. Don't trip. I said this was a quick look. I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope this was as good for you as it was for me. Okay. See, now it's coming off the look. One thing that I think is weird that I do, it's probably not weird because y'all probably do it, but I'm just not watching y'all, um, is I use concealer to create my cut crease. I don't use it to go under my eyes because this stuff, concealer usually cracks under my eyes. So what I do to clean up my makeup and everything is I use just like a lighter foundation under my eyes because it just works better for my skin. I have naturally oily skin, so throughout the whole day my makeup is shifting. I'm looking crazy. I look like I've been crying. All of a sudden it looks like somebody just ran into me and put a whole bunch of baby oil on me. That's just how I be looking. So just for my skin, I've, you know, found out that just using a lighter foundation as a concealer works for me better. But using actual concealer on my eyes helps me create my cut crease looks. So, let's get into it. One thing that I definitely learned about this is you don't want to blink or you don't want to look up too quickly because then you just get a big mess and the rest of your eye and now it's not a cut crease and it's some other crazy design. This is the part where you kind of have to do surgery, all right? You have to have a steady hand because you, you, you don't want to mess this up. Literally just like hold your head up like really high like you're a snob. Like just look down. All you men disgust me. It's the look that you have to give them when you're waiting on this to dry so you don't mess it up. Because men mess everything up. <laughs> now, I'm not a perfectionist. So I'm not telling you that both of your eyes will come out twin sisters. They should definitely be related. This is not done, so don't, don't you judge me. Don't you get on here and start judging so I'm going back in with the Claire palette. Next, the color, bleh. <laughs> the color that is next to the color that looks like blue jeans is what I'm using. Oh my God, you know what's so crazy? I think the color that I'm using is called Claire. It's the only way that this will stay. Not wet. So let this dry off a little bit before you go back in. Maybe, let me tell you something. If I don't text you back, the first time. Don't text me 82 more times. That mean I don't want to talk. That mean I'm doing something. You caught me in the middle of doing this artistry. You want to cover that whole eye up. The whole concealer part. Don't get crazy and go up into the part that is the cut. Because then it will no longer be a cut crease. All right? So boom, now you can just go to the other eye. Looks like that. Pray that it's dry enough. And make sure you like really get enough of the color on the brush. Don't be scared to dig in there. You can put a lot of dip on your chip for this one. If you really want this to pop. pop. I want my, I want to walk in the club and the boys be like, oh my God, her eyes is pop locking and dropping it. What a beautiful job you've done on your cut crease. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. They really tried. You want to be the shiniest I'm gonna be the shiniest bitch in the party at all times. Everything shiny. Lip shiny, eye shiny. What's up? I'm shiny. So I'm gonna take an angle brush. I know what this one is called. I'm gonna go back in with the color from my player palette. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back in with the dark blue that we were using to come. Reclaiming my cut crease just so they can remember who I am. Who this color was. Before the other girl came in the party. You kind of got all over her. Back up. Back up. It seems like a lot of work, but you know, what what you want to do? You want to be cute or you want to look like the bottom of a boot? Alright, so now that you've done this, 
clean your crease back up. Blend it, blend it. Baby. You gonna go back to your original brush. Boo, get that blue, get that blue in there. Just go into the bottom. Make it a little darker. Jesus, don't get it in your eye. Oh my God. Do y'all make those faces <laughs> when you're doing your makeup, you just randomly. <laughs> it's used, get eyeliner. I use liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner is literally my favorite, and yeah, jet black. The thing about me and liquid eyeliner is I have to literally be up against the mirror to do it, so just give me one second. Gotta treat eyeliner like a boy you're not sure about. Just, just test it out a little bit. Also, another scary part. I definitely need to get up against the mirror. I'm not gonna clean up the mess I made on my face. Like I said earlier, go in with the lighter foundation underneath. Okay, but I thought I cleaned up. I'm gonna go in with that little brush again. This lip brush. Use whatever brush you want to use. I'm gonna go in with original. And in original, they have like a lot of pretty silvery colors. And kind of rosy silvery too. This makes your eyes look bigger. And you just kind of blend that out a little bit. What I thought of you, if you can blend, I'll make a visual. So I'm about to use hot chocolate to like do the outer parts of my lip. I always blend like a bunch of lipstick together. The name of this lipstick is called Untold Story. And when you, when you put this on, I, I hope you don't start telling people stories. Cause it's supposed to be untold, baby. Go back in one more time with that hot chocolate. One more time with that untold story. One thing I do wanna share with y'all that's a little trick that I be doing to make my lips look a little more fuller. Is I take my angle brush, right? So I went back in with the brown palette and I'm kinda gonna like line the outer parts of my lip. You didn't even know you could do that. But look how my lips just popped out like that. <laughs> and you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna even go in with Enigma and use some pink from there on the inside of my lip. Get real spicy. Use my finger. I'm gonna go in with a bunch of gloss. This gloss is my favorite. And let's just let's just try this out. Cause we went over the top with brown, so let's go. This is brown gloss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the look we wanted, baby. So we used Choco Crush Brown Gloss over the top. We used Lean In. We leaned in and used Lean In in the middle. And you need to never have too many, too many glosses. I walk around with about eight lip glosses in my face. Let's see if my lashes want to cooperate today. Okay, put on my other lash. I'm gonna wrap this up. Sometimes I get so excited about my makeup, like I just, be trying to hurry up and finish it because I'm so excited to take pictures. You guys are just so easy to talk to. <laughs> lash, no lash. See how lashes really turn up the whole thing? Yes, all the time I get done, my hand looks like And this. Okay, okay. Hey girl, hey, it's me. Done. Well, okay, so now we got our So Fierce mascara. And then I'm gonna go in with Beauty Glimmer. You never be too shiny. 
you want to shine. Never let nobody tell you you're not supposed to be shine. Okay, home girl, you almost done. Don't give up now. Good things take time, baby. Okay. I mean, what is it really left for you to do? Leave a little powder underneath the eye. Like I said, this is how I do my makeup. You don't have to do this. Buff it out a little bit. Just finishing powder. I don't, I don't bake. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you ladies like to bake. This is just a little bronzer. I definitely contour, but not like as extreme. I haven't, I haven't quite mastered that yet. I do a little something, I'll do what I can. I mean, you know, I think we did a damn good job. For this to be my first time doing this for y'all. Now I'm not saying it just because it's me. <laughs> but it's cute. Okay, while we wait. My cake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I look cute. Mm -hmm. I bet you do too. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Megan Stag, aka Young T Snow, aka the High Girl Coach, and I am Revlon's new brand ambassador. Ah. When you a hot girl, you just gotta live bold. Be you. Be, be you, T for. <laughs> Literally, that's all I needed. Well, that was that. And that is how you do your makeup. I hope I gave you everything you needed, everything you didn't know you needed. And you know, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, that was my first tutorial. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better and have better conversation for you next time. But that's all I got.